I just gotta say right now, this is like a video I don't want to do. Like, I'm exhausted. I figured maybe I should wait a day or two just to like figure out like, am I gonna do this video? But I committed to the bit. I have talked about all the movies before. So, fuck it. Let's talk about uh, Justice League 2017. Look, I, I, I know it seems like that. I'm very dismissive to this movie, which I am, honestly, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you back. I'm gonna take you back to November 2017 here. Uh, the Snyder Cut is not a thing. Sure, there are a little bit of controversies here and there, but the big thing is, is that the movie is coming out. Believe it or not, the first time I saw this was an advanced screening before reviews could come out. So, it was like keeping a dark and forbidden secret little 15-year-old little me had to endure for maybe a week of learning that this movie wasn't cracked up. It, 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 I messed that up, but it means it's not good. So at this point, uh, the DCEU is actually a bit on a bit of a roll. Uh, th that past summer, uh, Wonder Woman hit theaters, which I talked about that. I think it's a perfectly fine movie, but this was a huge hit. The first true win in both box office and critic reviews, and also with fans. I'm not like really speaking, I'm speaking generally, but a lot of people really liked Wonder Woman. And I don't blame them. I think it's a pretty good movie. But now we have we already have Justice League. We had cameos from the other members, uh, Aquaman and Cyborg, and we saw some like footage, I guess, from a file that included uh, Cyborg. And so Cyborg really hasn't been in these movies yet. But at this point, we have really rushed to the Justice League. And can, can I just say that, in my opinion, this is not how to do a cinematic universe. I feel like you gotta, if you're gonna build up your core team, I feel like you gotta, like, build up who they are first. Especially with Cyborg, because... Oh, Cy Cyborg is rough in this one, I gotta admit. Alright, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. I'm jumping the gun. So, basically the plot is... Uh, some CGI big guy is coming and saying, Hey, I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take over the world. I'm gonna destroy the world. It, this world is on the lawn to the humans now. It's me. I did it. It's me. So we, we gotta, like, and so Batman goes, we gotta stop this guy. So he rounds up the Justice League and they try their best to stop them. And the, that winded me out just talking about it. This is such a generic movie. It is so middle of the road that it honestly, like, it bothers me much more than it should. This is the first time we're getting the, a, like a live action big Justice League movie and it is just really boring. And when I say generic, I mean like one of the worst comic book movie super, super villains ever in Steppenwolf, who wastes a great actor in Sierra and Hines, mind you. I think he's a terrific actor. He's really wasted in this movie and just it, it, it feels like it's so all over the place. Speaking of Steppenwolf. These effects usually shouldn't be this bad. Like, granted, the CGI is usually time. That's what usually kills it. And to my knowledge, uh, they changed uh, the model for Steppenwolf at the very last minute. So that's why he doesn't look as great. Everything else is kind of okay, I guess. I think Cyborg CGI is probably the most standout out of all of them, in a good way at least. I just gotta say that, like, these effects and, and like, the editing, I think really the editing does this in, uh, it makes it look like a Snickers commercial. It looks really rubbery and fake in a way that a superhero movie, at least I don't think, should look like. And they turn up the, the brightness a lot in what what feels like to me is way too much and there are things happening in the background and all that you shouldn't see it, it looks too candy coated if i if i if i should say or sugar coated yeah it's no secret that uh joss whedon kind of took the reins and did the reshoots at the behest of warner brothers he didn't come in and swoop in and just say hey i'm gonna save this movie and all that but no he, he did it 
Uh, a lot of his uh, Whedonisms are in here. And honestly, I usually don't mind that. Uh, he created one of my favorite shows of all time, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And he also uh, did the mainly the first Avengers movie, but he did the first two. But the first one is nearly comic book movie perfection. I, I, I think that that's the blueprint on how you do this kind of shit. But in this, it completely conflicts with what's going on in Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman, and to an extent Suicide Squad. I'm not really counting Wonder Woman in that bunch, because that's a different movie, and that, that's, that, that's a completely different thing they're going for in that movie. I guess what I mean is it's completely conflicting with what Zack Snyder wanted to do with these characters. And look, I, if you saw my other things, I'm not too crazy about Zack Snyder's DC movies, especially Batman vs. Superman, but I was on the ride with them. I was interested to see where they would go, and granted, it was out of his control on why he left because of the horrible family tragedy. Now, as I was saying, uh, Zack Snyder uh, didn't really have a control over where he left, why he left, and I get why he left, but just... There still should have been care put into this because, you know, Zack Snyder had a plan with what he wanted to do, and it's better than what some franchises have, so might as well. The acting in this, too, is just off. Like, it's not egregiously bad, but it, there's just something so off about this movie. Maybe it was the reshoots that Joss Whedon did. I'm not entirely sure. But especially the one scene that I remember is spoilers. Uh, when, when Superman comes back to life, they're all sitting there and looking at him and just like, well, what, what's he doing? And it cuts to Wonder Woman and just with a straight face just goes, Kal-El, no. What? Even for Joss Whedon who is arguably out of his prime and will most likely never get work again at this point. You could have done, gotten a better take than that. Like, it's funny how bad of a take that was, and honestly, it doesn't really, it, does, it doesn't indicate on if G even cares about him, which is the entire point of this scene with Superman coming back. I'm gonna be honest, this this one kind of broke me. Like, the, 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 like, Suicide Squad is much worse than this because at least Justice League is still a competent movie and I could tell what was going on and there's no like big editing mistakes in this other than like visually and like the actual post-production process of the CGI and the color correction and all, and all the technical stuff. But this, it, it, this is a mess. It, on its own, it's okay, I guess. It's not that great, even if a little generic. You could say it's fun, and I wouldn't blame you. It is a perfectly serviceable movie to, like, do something around the house to. And I respect that. But when you compare it to... And what I'm mainly going to single out is Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. The, the, this is... This completely conflicts with that, and not only that, it most likely, and well, actually, I'm just going to say, it did ruin Zack Snyder's plans. We now, well, now in 2023, we know what Zack Snyder's plan was. I, granted, I wasn't a giant fan of it, but it was going to be better than this. I'm going to give Justice League a 3 out of 10. This felt like a chore to watch. It's not the worst thing ever, but... This just, this took a lot out of me, if you cannot tell, because... <sighs> At least there isn't one that's really bad for a while. So, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, I watched this. Did you watch this? How did you feel about it? Uh, I'm going to bed. See ya.